Today we're going to show you our homemade mixer and decanter system. As you can see, we're using a 100 liter stainless steel barrel. With a motor that spins all these rods we built ourselves by hand. We've placed four rods at the bottom, two in the middle, and two crossing, forming an X shape for better mixing. Here's the motor we're using. And this is the connection. We attached the shaft with a bolt to connect the rod we custom made. We've built metal legs for support. And a base plate for the motor. That's it, simple but functional. Later on, I'll show you how it works in action. Now, here's our decanter setup. We've installed a cap with a hose connection and a valve to open and close the flow. We've also added this plastic mesh with a small slit so we can see the volume in liters. We marked it from 1 liter up to several to keep track. We passed the rods through the mesh to hold the bottle in place. And there's not much mystery to it. We pour the liquid in from the top. And use the tap to either drain or hold the liquid, depending on whether we're letting it separate. As it settles, the oil rises to the top and the water sinks to the bottom. We also use another container for the final stage. When the oil is already clean. We pour it in there to remove any last traces of water. We use a filter funnel when pouring. To prevent impurities from entering. You can already see how the oil starts rising to the surface. Once everything's separated. We open the lower valve to drain the dirty water. This first stage is the rough water. After that, we do another rinse so the water comes out clearer. Here you can see a bit of residue floating on top. In a moment, I'll show you as we empty a little of it. By the way, don't forget to like and subscribe. Because soon we'll show you how to filter olive oil. So you can use it sooner without waiting months for it to clear naturally. As you can see, the lower layer is darker. That's the dirty water. Which we drain into a bucket. That bucket then gets emptied into a barrel for disposal. You can see the oil layer descending as it separates. After that, we fill it again with clean water. To rinse and purify the oil even more. You can see the separation almost instantly. The water goes down. The oil stays up. We leave it for a while. Then drain all the water again. Now the liquid that comes out is much cleaner. Nothing like the dark one from before. When all the water is gone. We pour the clean oil into the final decanter.
to make sure there's absolutely no water left before bottling. You can already see how the oil looks clearer and brighter. Different color, cleaner texture. We transfer it carefully to another container. So we can keep working on the first one again. This one we use only for pure oil. While the first container handles the initial rough separation. It's so satisfying to see the oil like this. If you're enjoying the video, please give it a like. It helps a lot. As you can see, even after cleaning everything. There are always some residues left inside the tank and pipes. We'll drain that as well. Once there's no more water left. We finally pour the clean oil into bottles. This oil can either be stored for a few months. Or filtered right away, as I'll show in the next video. Once filtered, it's perfectly ready for consumption. Free of water and impurities. And here's the grinding system working. Remember, we've already shown the full process. From picking the olives off the tree. To grinding them and extracting the oil. You can find that full video linked above. Here you can see how, after a while of kneading the paste, the color changes, and the oil starts to appear naturally. Alright, I'll leave you here watching the mixing process. If you liked this video, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one.